We're in LA, California. We are road tripping with a couple of our mates from San Diego. We're in LA for one day only. And so today we're gonna to be eating up a storm. It's gonna be some heritage food, some food trucks. We're going for donuts now. It's gonna be an LA eating day. Let's get into it. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena. And we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. We're starting the day the American way. We're here in Koreatown at Donut King. Ty, our friend, has been coming here for donkey's years. He said it's great. It's just a small mom and pop shop in this little um, center, in this little car park area. And cash only, just humble donuts. Let's get in, I'm starving. We're road tripping with our mates, Ty and Sab. Hey. Get into the food. <laughs> I've got my eye on the apple fritter donut. There's a ton of glazed donuts, Boston creams. We're just gonna grab a box of them and have a taste of them all. This is a seriously cool stack of donuts. They are shiny, they are big, they are filled with amazing things. We've got a whole box stacked with different ones. Yum. Yes, please. I'd love two apple fritters. Mm -hmm. Great. One of those, please. Well, sometimes it's like crumb. It's just like... Thank you. <laughs> We've got a whole box of them. <laughs> I just can't get over how ginormous these are. Look at the size of this apple fritter. Is this the size of my head? Two apple fritters. Boston cream, so um, there's a chocolate icing on top filled with custard. This one's a crumb donut, and then this one is a glazed twist. So just a sugary glaze over the top. My eye is on this baby. This is LA dreams coming true. The environment, a big box of donuts to start the day. That's what it's all about, and wow. <laughs> Seriously, it is the size of my head. So it's a cakey donut. Got Gorgeous cubes of apple dotted all over the top, this shiny glaze. I'm just gonna break off a bit. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. That is delicious. So it's not like light and airy. It's it's got a bit of heft and substance to it, but it is still very pillowy. There's apple inside as well. Very soft cubes of it. That sugary glaze. Oh, this is a must eat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a Boston cream. More of the traditional style. Fluffy, light round, covered in chocolate, and the telltale giveaway there. Pumped full of custard. Whoa. Mmm. <laughs> oh yeah. It's loaded. Mmm. I mean, it's a donut, so of course it's light. It's fluffy. It's sweet. But what stands out for me here is it's not oily. It's not just a dense ball of old yuck tasting oil. It's fresh, it's light, it's delicious. What a way to start the day. Mm. Thank you so much. It's delicious. Thank you. We're so lucky to have Sav as our driver today because LA is this sprawling, massive city and we're hopping all around town. So that donut shop was just in Koreatown and now we're zipping off to downtown. It's time for second breakfast and second breakfast is a diner breakfast. I am obsessed with diners. I love the nostalgia. I love that you could get breakfast all day long. We're heading to Nickel Diner. It's supposed to be really great. 
This place has a ton of history and really sums up diner life here, here in the US. Hey! Thank you. That'll set us up. Diners are an American cultural icon and this wouldn't be an American trip for us without multiple diner visits. We're here at Nickel Diner. This place is awesome. It's got a great feel about it. It's boisterous, it's fun, it's packed and the menu looks great. The diner culture here in the States is fantastic and they come under many sort of styles. I think traditionally in my head it's sort of booth seating, middle of nowhere, filter coffee dumped on the table in front of you when you arrive, but they're not all like that, they're quite different. This one has a lot of history. You can sort of see it in the walls there, they're quite yellowed, they're, it's a neat place. The vibe in here is great. Order's up, can't wait to eat. Thank you. Whoa! Oh, how gorgeous! Oh, good. Anything Thank else you. Emerald's food looks so good. Usually at a diner for breakfast, I would order pancakes, bacon, and eggs. But I'm pregnant at the moment. I'm six months pregnant, so I opted for nutrition. But I don't think I've sacrificed deliciousness because look at this plate of food: veggie scramble, so eggs. Roasted peppers, tomatoes, zucchini, leeks, topped with melted mozzarella and a side of potatoes. My husband is always reliable. He has ordered another thing that I almost always order at a diner and that is a patty melt. So juicy beef patty, sandwiched with cheese, um, inside bread, he's gone for french fries and onion rings. Kind of wait for him to share. The roasted veggies are so melt in your mouth that cheese, beautiful flavour. Mm. Great potatoes. I'm just loving this vibe. This is a great diner. Our server is amazing. She's so friendly. It's just a fun place to be and it feels really old school, quite traditional. I was reading a little bit about um, the diner itself before we got here. They do a lot of community work uh, whereby they provide uh, meals for homeless people and people who are food insecure. So they do a lot of work in the community. I like that. I think the show is going to be about Thomas though. Thomas and his patty melt. It looks sensational. Look at this patty melt. On rye. Uh, a hamburger patty, so ground beef, minced beef, patty. I also cook medium. Great pink strip through the middle. Cheese, onions, I can smell the sweetness in those onions, but really, this is going from the sweet donuts. I wanted something savory. This is about as savory as it gets. Meat, cheese, onion rings, fries. Juicy. Mmm. Smoky flavour from the grill. The onions just give it a zing. It's so juicy that, that patty melt. Oh my god. Wow, that is good. Mmm. Sheena is gonna die for this. Wow. That is delicious. Wash it down with fries. That's a pretty good second breakfast. It's pretty full on. In such a good way. Oh, that is delicious. The Nickel Diner is famous for its homemade pop tarts. So we had to get one for the table to share. We've got a strawberry one. So pastry, slathered in icing, there's some pink sugar on the top and there's a jam filling inside and we were told by our server to 
load it up with more strawberry jam. It's definitely the best pop tart that I've ever had. Pastry is a very crumbly, sweet strawberry jam. Ooh, and that icing. Yum. That was. Thank you, it was delicious. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hi, that thanks. was a great experience. Brilliant food, brilliant atmosphere, <laughs> heaps of history. <laughs> that is a cool place. Oh, loved it. Thoroughly enjoying the day of exploring. We just wanted to to get to know the city. We've never been here. We've never really seen much of it. Well, Sheena's been. I've never been. So we've never really seen much of it. We're just getting to explore. Come places like this. Eat great food. That diner was just mega. What a place to eat. I think it's a food truck next. But for now, a bit of fresh air. Look at this. It's the life. I'm so pumped about our next stop. It is the Kogi truck. So they kicked off the Korean Mexican taco movement founded by Roy Choi. They've been on the streets feeding LA for 15 years and that's how long I've been waiting to eat here. 15 years. Let's get in. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good. Can I please grab four short rib tacos? Four tacos. Thank you. We're gonna keep it super tight, eat the one thing we've wanted to eat for a long, long time. The world famous short rib tacos. Oh. I'm not sure if that's me. Is that four tacos? Gracias. Thank you. Time for the big reveal. Dun, 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 dun four short rib tacos. Double tortillas stacked with lettuce, cabbage, short rib of course, I can see sesame seeds, chili. Here we go gang. Oh yeah. Oh man. Delicious. So good. The meat just melts in your mouth. It is so flavoursome. Laced with gochujang, crunchy lettuce, crunchy cabbage. Oh, 15 years. I've been waiting 15 years to eat this bad boy. Look at this. Standing right beside the truck. I feel like this is a real LA moment. I am so here for it. Next up, we're heading to Philippe the Original for a French dip, which is a sandwich. This business has been around since 1908. It's an icon of LA's food scene. Cool. Tiny little doorway. You come into this beast of a restaurant, two levels, massive counter. Absolute icon this place, as Sheena just said. The smell in there is good. Hi, how are you? Good. Can I please get two beef dips? Uh, one single dip and one double dip. I put in our order. So we went trad. Beef dip on a French roll, so roast beef stuffed, in, stuffed into a French roll. And we asked for double dip, so it's been dipped twice in the roasting juices of the meat. 
this is a great lineup to watch having this huge counter. Everyone gets their own server. They do the whole order for you. One of the most amazing things on this menu is the coffee. 46 cents. That's crazy. I think in the 70s it was about 10 cents. It's only gone up to 46 cents. It's pretty late in the day, so we're not having any coffee, but far out. That's cool. Thank you. Which one's single one? Super pumped to be eating a French dip sandwich at the place that I've invented it. It is a French roll stuffed full of slices of juicy roast beef in this case. You can get a ton of different meats. There's uh, pork, there's pastrami, there's lamb, and I hear it's kiwi lamb. And then what they do is they take the roll and they dip it in the dripping juices of the meat, like the meat juices, the pan juices. You can get single dip, double dip. Uh, I think there's an option for wet. We went for double dip to make sure it had you know, like a bit of sogginess to it. You also get an extra pottle of dipping juices. We've got a kosher dill pickle, we've got some chilies, and then a lemonade. And as Thomas was saying, the prices here are amazing. That glass of lemonade, 90 cents. It's a bargain, can't wait to dive in. This is a cool sandwich. The story goes that a cop came in, ordered the sandwich, the guy making it dropped, well not this sandwich, ordered a sandwich, the guy making it dropped the sandwich, landed in the gravy. Cop was in a hurry to get back out on the street, so he said, don't worry, I'll just take it. Next day, came back, and all his mates, they all wanted this sandwich, called it the French dip, because French bread dipped in the gravy meat juices, and from then on, it's a thing. And it's a great idea. Now, I'm gonna go triple dipped. There's nothing wrong with more meat juice and gravy. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. That, that does what it says it's gonna do. It's roast beef in a bun with some gravy. And the meat is juicy, tender, a lovely little bite on it, but very thinly cut. And so super juicy still. Well, it's still juicy, that's really good. That's a great way to get that juiciness into your sandwich by, by dipping the bun. I like it. We've got pickles to go with it, some peppers. What a day it's been exploring LA with these two amazing friends. Thanks so much to them for taking us all around, eating incredible food. We have loved it. Hope you've enjoyed this one. We're heading down to San Diego. We're going to do a bunch of videos down there. So hit subscribe. Let us know what you thought of this. Thank you for watching. And as always, everywhere we've eaten, prices, addresses, etc., down in the description. That is some damn good sandwich. Thank you for watching.